हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हिमल स्टेटिक्स द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द विंडो इज हेल्ड ओपन बाय चेन ए बी डिटरमाइन द लेंथ ऑफ द चेन एंड एक्सप्रेस द फिफ्टी पाउंड फोर्स एक्टिंग एट ए अलॉन्ग द चेन इज अ कार्टीजन वैक्टर एंड डिटरमाइन इट्स कॉर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एंगल्स so first we have to find the length of the chain so to find the length of the chain we need to find the position vector from a to b and once we find the position vector from a to b so the magnitude of that position vector from a to b will give us the length of the chain from a to b so now to find the position vector from a to b we need to determine the coordinates of point a and b from this origin so i will write the coordinates of point a so from this origin this point a is located at a distance of 8 feet in the y direction so i will write 8 and then uh, to locate this point a from this origin we need to move 8 feet distance along y then we need to move some distance along x and then we need to move some distance along the z axis is like this so we need to move this much distance along the positive x and this length is 5 feet and this is making 40 degrees with uh, with this line right so if this length is 5 feet then this length is 5 cos of 40 so along the x axis is we need to move 5 cos of 40 feet distance and then we need to move 5 uh, sin of 40 along the positive z axis is if we consider this triangle this right angle triangle so this length is 5 cos of 40 and this length is 5 sin of 40 so we need to move 5 sin of 40 feet distance along the positive z axis is right so we can write the coordinates of point a is 5 cos of 40 So 5 cos of 40 is 3.83. 3.83 three feet along the positive x-axis, 8 feet along the positive y-axis, and 5 sin of 40 along the positive z-axis. So this is 3.2 ones, and this is in feet. now this point b is located at a distance of 5 feet in the y so i will write 5 5 feet in the y and 12 feet along the z and there is no need to travel along the x axis since this point b is located in the y z plane this is 5 feet now we can find this position vector so we have to subtract the coordinates of point a from b since we are moving from a to b so we will write a uh, zero this zero minus 3.83 zero minus 3.83 and this is the i component similarly we will write plus then we will subtract the y coordinate from the y coordinate of a from b so we will write 5 minus 8 j and then 12 minus 3.21 so this is plus 12 minus 3.21k so this will be minus 3.83i minus 3j and 12 minus 3.21 so this is 8.79k so plus 8.79k and the position the magnitude of this position vector will give us the length of the chain and that magnitude will be 3.83 square plus 3 square plus 8.79 square and then we will take the square root this is 3.83 square plus 3 square plus 8.79 square and this is approximately 10 feet right so the length of the chain is 10 feet similarly now we are required to find uh, express that 50 pound force in as a cartesian vector so the magnitude of this force f which is acting from a to b is 50 pounds so the cartesian vector f 
will be equal to 50 times the unit vector from A to B and now we can write that this is 50 and this unit vector from A to B is the position vector from A to B divided by its magnitude. So this will this is the Cartesian vector representation of that force F this is 50 and the position vector is here we have determined this. So this is minus 3.83 i minus 3 j plus 8.79 k and the magnitude is 10 feet. So 50 divided by 10 is 5. This is 5. And if I multiply this 5 multiply by 3.83 so this gives me 19.15 19.15 minus i minus 15j 5 into 3 is 15 and 5 into 8.79 so this gives me 43.95 so plus 43.95 k so this is the Cartesian vector representation of that force F which is acting from A to B. Now we are required to determine its coordinate direction angles. So I can write this force F in terms of the coordinate direction angle is. So we can write this is F. F is the magnitude cos of alpha i plus F cos of beta j plus F cos of gamma k. The magnitude is 50, so we can write this as 50. This is 50, and this is 50. So now, if we compare these, so we can write that 50 cos of alpha equals to minus 19.15, and from this, we can write that cos of alpha is minus 19.15 divided by 50, and again, alpha is cos inverse. If we take cos inverse, then alpha is cos inverse the magnitude of x divided by the magnitude of the force similarly beta will be equal to cos inverse the magnitude of the y component so this is our we can say that the y component divided by the magnitude of that force f similarly gamma so gamma will be cos inverse the y uh, the z component that is 43.95 divided by 50 so cos inverse uh, minus 19.15 divided by 50 this angle is 112.52 112.52 degrees angle with the positive x axis is this is minus 15 so 107.46 107.46 degree angle with the positive y axis is forty three point nine five divided by fifty so twenty eight point four eight degrees with the positive side axis so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems